What's up guys, this is uh, Dre, Six Scale Reviews, bringing you guys another banger unboxing. Um, today we have uh, Halloween, Michael Myers Deluxe by uh, Sideshow. Sideshow. Um, yeah, just got this figure in yesterday, didn't have time to post a you know, picture yet because I had to go to work. But uh, yeah, let's get it right into this uh, unboxing here. I'm just going to... Take off the slip cover. You know, you guys seen a little bit of this. I posted it on IG yesterday. So let's go ahead and you know, take them out, remove them. Um, yeah, I like the packaging that Sideshow provides, but I haven't been liking Sideshow figures. We all know why, because the bodies suck. And I uh, want to admit too, that I also picked up that Grievous, that reissue of the 2014 Grievous, um, but I'm actually returning it um, Come Monday, I already sent an email to them, and uh, I'm just going to get the return, because I heard they're, you know, going to actually stop shipping that one out, and uh, I guess they're going to fix it, supposedly, again. I don't know. I, I doubt I'm going to pick it up. Um, I was talking to Dan, and uh, if they don't, you know, redo the figure entirely, I'm not going to get it. Like, if they just fix the joints, then uh, I'm good. I saw plenty of reviews of the figure, and the fact that it's the same mold... You know, the lightsabers look like, you know, toys instead of like, you can't really even see the sculpt. Uh, yeah, they need to redo that whole figure. Like, if it's just another reissue with fixed joints, I'm not going to get it. I'll put my money towards something else. But, okay, enough of the rant. Let's get right into this. This is how it looks coming out the package. You know, classic uh, clamshell. There's two of them. And, uh, yeah, let's uh, take everything out and we'll look at the accessories first. And then, uh, all right, guys. So this is the accessory portion of the video. Um, I pretty much laid out everything that he comes with. And, uh, yeah, I want to say everything looks good so far. Um, I really like this. I want to say this is probably my favorite accessory, the pumpkin here. Um, I'll start off with this. Cause yeah, this thing is phenomenal. It has some weight to it. I really like the, uh, color variations in it. You can see like there's some orange and like yellow in there. It looks great. And then the, uh, I guess this little stump or whatever you call it, the, uh, the pumpkin head little stump. Um, yeah, it looks great. The paint ops are great. I'm sorry about the lighting. I'm just doing this really quick. Uh, and uh, just regular day lighting. But I'll show you how it operates. It does light up. Um, see this thing right here? Obviously, this is a little switch. You flick it over. And that's it. And there are some magnets. You see those magnets right there, those two little circular magnets. So it does kind of go together. And uh, yeah, that looks great. I mean, we'll see how it looks in the in the dark. But uh, yeah, definitely a, a nice piece. I think this is definitely the best accessory that they came with. But, uh, um, this also is uh, pretty cool too i'm glad they included this um if you guys remember the uh, original halloween movie uh he puts on this little uh ghost outfit you know um which was great in the movie i thought that was very clever you know and i'm glad they included it here and it's just one of the like coolest scenes in the movie um yeah man and uh he comes with all these bunch of different hands here they look great look at those veins and i like how they go from like a you know, like a pale skin to like a red kind of gives it that real life, um, you know, that real life. How can I say this? There you go. You see how our hands look kind of reddish too. You can see, um, it looks great. They're all painted like that. And, you know, they look great. They look definitely realistic. Come with a couple different hands. Uh, I think these two hands are the same. You get a pair of these two hands, like. I guess trying to grab, grab at you or something, kind of gesture. Uh, like a regular, you know, relaxed hand. And then you got it like his uh, kitchen knife hand right there. Speaking of kitchen knives, we come with two of them right here. He comes with a, a clean, looks like a really large, you know, kitchen knife right there. That one's cool, but obviously I'm going to dispose mine with the, uh, blood splatter in effect i really do like that and uh the knife itself has like a nice uh you know metallic you know silver which is great kind of gives off the impression that it's like real steel or something like that um but yeah it looks cool 
they're definitely gonna get the job done and uh let's see what else okay here we go we got this uh tombstone the judith myers tombstone um it's great i'm you know i'm glad that they included it it has some heft to it it's pretty heavy um it looks great like the weathering on it um i know it's still in the packaging i honestly don't plan to display them with this uh maybe if i you know decide to later i might i'll definitely bust it out but uh yeah it looks great i mean it's heavy it's plastic though but uh yeah and then last but not least comes with the boring old you know you guys can see that john carpenter's halloween there and uh i guess there's some uh stuff there too i, I also want to note that uh, i got gypped uh they forgot to include the the crotch grabber so i got the base but not the crotch grabber so i might reach out to sideshow let them know maybe they'll send me one i don't plan to use it anyways but we all know what happens to sideshow bodies after a while so uh yeah basic basic base you know um and he also comes with the telephone nice i uh, like how you know you can actually you know pull it stretchy like a you know 80s telephone yeah it looks great very cool all right guys well let's uh get the figure out here and let's take a you know closer look all right guys so here's the figure you know i already removed all the uh, plastic so you guys are not wasting time on that right there but um here he is he looks good um he has a little bit of weight to him um the body actually feels really stiff which is really surprising well wait a minute spoke too soon okay this leg is a little bit stiffer than this one but he doesn't yeah he looks pretty stiff i mean so far so good um i heard that they definitely redid everything on this figure but let's just take a closer look at him you know the shape right here oh sorry guys I'm trying to position the uh camera yeah, I like the uh, the head sculpt. It looks good. I like how you can see his eyes underneath there. Um, I like the paint applications on it. Definitely uh, looks pretty good. Um, looks like the uh, silhouette from the original movie. The one thing I, I do not like is the, uh, the hair seam on it. I don't know. It looks like it's pushed way too back. And I just don't remember it looking like that in the uh, original movie. It looks kind of goofy, but... You know, hey, it is what it is. Um, the best thing I do want to say about the uh, actual figure itself is the uh, the tailoring of the jumpsuit. Man, it looks great. Like, it fits him really well. The material is really good. Um, they did a great job with the uh, with his jumpsuit here. Uh, I'm not sure if you can unbuckle that. I'm sure you can. I'm not going to try to mess with it. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. He's just wearing this... You know iconic jumpsuit Give you guys another closer look here sorry i'm trying to get him focused but uh yeah it looks good i can't complain i mean it's not a super expensive i mean it's 200 plus but you know you got to have a representation of him if you like scary movies if you're into horror which i am um yeah it looks good um comes with the uh two fisted hands on them let's take a look at the boots here yep got the uh it's like the original style classic boot like a military boot or a duck boot i'm not sure you guys in the comments below correct me but uh yeah looks good um yeah, I'm not sure how this body's gonna hold up. Um, Sideshow really needs to <sighs> switch up their bad habits, man. I just feel like they don't care. Um, as far as their quality control, it's never the best, you know? And it's unfortunate because they do carry lines that people carry, care about. Like for me, it's the horror line. I know they have like the X-Men line. Uh, I know Dan's collecting some of those and you know, other people want to collect them too, and it's just uh, unfortunate because um, I, I'm not getting into those. They just 
Yeah, it's other money that I can be focused on, different figures, and the fact that, you know, their bodies suck, and the proportions, and they just, I just feel like they use the same body for everyone. It's just really holding me back as a collector of buying more of their stuff, but um, there's still a couple figures out there that I'm gonna, you know, get, uh, still want to go back and get that Jason. Getting Leatherface just to round out the uh, horror collection um, from Sideshow. And after that, I'm going to get the third party. Uh, I got the uh, third party Asmus uh, Evil Dead 2 Ash on pre-order. Also have, um, who else? Oh, the uh, Patrick Bateman. Um, I forget who makes that one too. It could be Asmus or it could be a different company. A third party company for sure. Um, but they're making that... Uh, American Psycho figure and that one looks incredible. I uh, can't wait to get that one and uh, yeah, we'll see what else comes out. But uh, here you go. This is you know the hair is nicely sculpted. Uh, I'm sorry about the lighting, guys. The lighting sucks. Um, but uh, yeah, I just wanted to bring you guys this quick review. I'm not gonna like pose them up or anything. I'll I'm gonna pose them, but I'll post the IG later. You know, in the detail like I usually do. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys a quick unboxing and, you know, yeah, make it just a quick one. But thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, yeah, I'm going to pose them up and post something on IG. I appreciate you guys for taking the time to watch this. Um, thanks for all the support, guys. Um, yeah, if you haven't done so yet, please, you know, subscribe, like, and uh, share. Uh, yeah, I want to continue bringing content we're just super busy um content's low quality at the moment but you know obviously you get better as you progress so we'll see and uh yeah thank you guys once again all right um you guys have a nice day and uh yeah talk to you guys